On Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, we also get a camera controller that's pre-installed on the watch. So simply go into your app drawer here and select the camera app. And once you will select it, it will load the pre and will also launch the camera on the phone. Now here you can take the photo, you can turn the timer off, turn it on. Now one really cool thing is that if you change the camera mode on the phone, it also changes on this watch controller. So if I go in video, it will switch to video mode on the watch. And if I change my phone orientation, the orientation changes on the watch as well. If I go in portrait, it will go in portrait mode on the watch as well. And if I go in night mode, it will go in night mode. But there are some modes that don't work. So for example, if I go in director's view, it will not show up on the watch and it shows that it isn't supported. But most of the other modes are supported on this camera controller. On Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, you can set up any photo in your gallery as the watch face background. Now this feature has been there in previous versions of the Galaxy Watches as well, but this time it comes with an upgrade. You can now edit certain features of the background that you are adding. Let me show you how to do this. First go in watch faces. Then locate the My Photo watch face, select it and it will be added to the watch. Now customize it and here you can go in background options and add any photo from your gallery and also shoot new photos with camera. Now if I add a new photo from gallery, you will now get this option to change and edit this photo. So you can change the brightness, exposure, contrast, highlight and shadows of the watch face and then press done and it will be added to the watch now on the watch whenever you will tap on this watch face it will change and switch between all the photos that you have added to this watch face and every time the screen turns off and on the watch face will have changed background moving on you can also set up your galaxy watch 5 pro to detect your snoring while you're sleeping now there are two prerequisites for this feature you should be wearing the watch at night and your phone should be on charging once you have these covered go in the samsung health app on your galaxy watch 5 pro then go in settings scroll down until you find snore detection go in here and it will take you to your phone now here you can set up these settings you can turn it on, you can select to always detect snoring or you can also set it up to select snoring for one session. You can also select to record the audio of your snoring and then there is also an option to select after how many days the recordings will be deleted. Now here it also tells you about the two prerequisites I have already told you about. You have to wear your watch at night and your phone should be on charging and close to you because your phone will be doing the recording not the watch. Now once you have done that and you have worn your watch at night to detect your sleep, next day when you will go into your sleep data, you can scroll down and you will find your snoring activity. So you can go in here and play and listen to your snoring as well, which is really cool and funny actually. And you will be able to find these snoring recordings for each sleep session that you have recorded with this watch. On Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, you can also customize these two keys that you get on the watch. Now to do this, go in settings. Then go in advanced features and here locate customize keys. Go in here and you will find two options, home key and back key. So for home key, there are further two options here. So you can set up double press and press and hold. If you go in double press, you can select between go to most recent apps, accessibility shortcuts, alarms, assistant, Bixby, and then all the other apps that are installed on your watch. You can open pretty much any one of them. And then we have press and hold option. If you go in here, you can launch Bixby, you can launch Assistant, and you can turn on the power off menu as well. And finally, we have got the back key option. So we have a short press option for this one only. By default, it is selected to go to the previous screen. You can go in here and select show recent apps as well. Did you know that you can also turn on taking and chiming sounds for watch faces on your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro? Well, you can do it. And for that, all you have to do is go in settings, go in sounds and vibration, and then go in system sounds and here you can turn on ticking and it explains that you will hear a ticking sound if your watch face supports it on galaxy watch 5 pro if you go into the alarm app it shows you some really cool options first you get the option to add an alarm on the watch and if you scroll down you will see all your previous alarms on the watch but you can then scroll down further and you will see this option to add an alarm on your phone. So now when you go on to set the alarm, you get several options. You can select the time, obviously, then you can select whether you want it weekly or not. And then 
a new feature here is that you can select a specific date for the alarm as well so you can add an alarm on a very further date in the future you can now also name the alarms alarm sound vibration and snooze time so some of these are new features on galaxy watch 5 pro so that's about it from this video guys i hope you've enjoyed it i will see you in the next one till then take care bye, -bye. did you know that you can now add custom routes to your galaxy watch 5 pro for your cycling and hiking activities well it is very easy to do and straightforward you first have to locate the route tile on your galaxy watch 5 pro and then from here you get the ability to add more routes to your galaxy watch 5 pro and then if you tap on this button it will take you to your phone and from your phone you can read all the instructions on how you can add new routes to your watch now the easiest way to do this is by going in your samsung health app and then looking for some previous activities that you did your walking or trailing activities or even cycling activities will have a map from there you can tap on these three dots menu and you will see this button export as gpx file tap on this you can rename this file and then save it to your phone next time when you will tap on this button add on phone it will take you to the gpx folder in the file system on your phone and in this folder you can locate the file and tap on this file and press done it will then give you an option to rename the file select the workout type and then you can press save once you press save the route will be loaded onto your watch and you can start this activity now there are some really cool benefits of using this system the route is predetermined there you can just follow along the route to do your activity and if you go off course the watch will alert you that you are off course and by how much distance when you backtrack on the route it will also alert you that you're backtracking on the same route now this works just like any other activity that you're tracking on your watch but because the route is already there on your watch you will be able to see and follow the turn-by-turn -turn navigation on your watch while cycling or hiking. Samsung has added some really cool keyboard controls with this new software on Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Now whenever you will open the keyboard you get this new QWERTY keyboard. Now here is the cool part. While typing on this QWERTY keyboard you can quickly switch between input methods by simply swiping up from the bottom of the display and from here you can go to your voice control, you can go to your swipe feature, emojis and numerical keyboard. So this is a very quick way of switching between input methods and typing your message effectively. From here you can also go into keyboard settings and here you can manage things like input languages, predictive text, auto replace, auto spacing, auto capitalize, double tap spacebar to add full stop and finally you can also reset keyboard settings. Did you know that you can now also change the screen orientation if you are switching from the left wrist to the right wrist and you can also change the location of the button. It's really cool and let me show you how this works. First go in settings then go in general and here go in orientation. Now here you get two options wrist and key position. Now if you are wearing on the left wrist you can select left or if you are wearing on the right wrist you can select right. Now it depends whether you want the buttons to stay on the right as well because if the watch is on your right wrist the buttons will be on the right. But you can also choose the buttons to be on the left and when you will select left you will see that the screen orientation will reverse. And now when you will wear this watch on your right wrist the buttons will be on the left instead of being on the right because the screen orientation has completely reversed. Similarly, you can do the same for the left wrist whether you want the buttons on the right or on the left. Did you know that on your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro you can also control several aspects of the watch by gestures? Let me show you how this works. First go in settings, now go in advanced features and here scroll down until you find gestures. Here you will find three gestures, answer calls, dismiss alerts and calls and finally quick launch. Now if we go in answer calls you will see a separate gesture and you can see the gesture here as well. So if you turn this feature on whenever you are getting the call you can make this gesture to answer calls. Next up we have dismiss alerts and calls so if we go in here similarly it shows you how to make this gesture and as well as you can read about it. So if you turn this feature on you can then dismiss alerts and calls as well. And finally we have a quick launch gesture 
and if we go in here you can see how to make this gesture and you can read about it here when you turn this feature on you get to select an option and from here you can see that you can open recent apps open workout type list turn on torch add a reminder and then we have all the apps listed here that's installed on your watch and you can open any one of these apps by making this gesture did you know that on galaxy watch 5 pro we now get qwerty keyboard and on this qwerty keyboard by default the swipe to type feature is not activated but you can turn it on and for that you have to go in settings then go in general and then go in input and here go in samsung keyboard and if you scroll down you can turn on keyboard swipe controls go in here and turn on swipe to type once you've done that you can now swipe to type on the keyboard on your galaxy watch 5 pro did you know that when you install any app on your galaxy watch 5 pro you can have it set up to install the phone version of that app on your smartphone as well well, you can do that by going into the Play Store, scroll down and go in Settings and here turn on Automatic App Install which tells you that automatically install apps on your phone when a watch app requires it. So whenever you download an app on your watch that requires a phone app as well and if you have this feature turned on and you install that app on your watch, the phone version of the app will be installed on your phone as well. You don't have to download it separately. Did you know that on Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, when you turn on Do Not Disturb mode, you can have it sync up with your phone. So when you turn it on on your watch, the Do Not Disturb mode will be turned on on the phone as well. You can do the same for the bedtime mode as well. Let me show you how. For this, you have to go into the Galaxy Wearable app on your phone, then go in Watch Settings, go in Notifications, and here, if you scroll down, you will find Sync Do Not Disturb with Phone. If you turn this feature on, when you will turn the Do Not Disturb mode on the watch, it will turn on on the phone as well. On Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, we do get a battery saving mode. But there is also another mode that allows you to really go hard on battery saving on this watch. For this, we have to go in settings, then go in battery. And here you will find the battery saving mode, which is the power saving mode. Then you will see what it exactly does to save power. But if you keep scrolling, you will find the watch only mode. If you turn this feature on, it will show you what it does and here it shows you that the estimated battery life of this watch will go up to 19 days. And here you will be able to press the home key to show the time or press and hold it to turn off the watch only mode. Now if I turn it on here, you will see that everything else will go away and just the time shows up on the watch and nothing else. All the features are turned off, you will just get time on the watch. This is a feature that you can turn on when you're in a pinch, when the battery is extremely low. but you still want to preserve the battery on the watch as well as want to keep up with the time you can turn this feature on next up did you know that on samsung galaxy watch 5 pro if you go into the dialer app you can then select the sim that you want to make the call from so if you see this button here just tap on it you will get the same options you can change sim 1 or sim 2 now this also works if you have different preferences for sim cards to make calls on your phone for example if you have selected sim 2 as a preference to make calls from your phone you can still select sim 1 on the watch when you're making this call next up you can also take screenshots on your samsung galaxy watch 5 pro and this feature is not listed anywhere on the watch but you can still do it by simply pressing the home button and the back button simultaneously. It will take a screenshot. This screenshot will be saved into the gallery app on your watch. At the same time, it will also be transferred to your phone as well and backed up there. On Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, you can also change location permissions for each app separately. And for that, we have to go in settings, go in location, and here, go in permissions. In here, you will see all the apps that are allowed, all the apps that are allowed, but only when in use. And you can see apps in category ask every time and then denied. So if you go in allowed in here, you will see all the apps that have been allowed location permission, then go in the app itself and change the permission. On Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, you can also turn on the ability to detect your blood oxygen levels while you are sleeping. And for that, you have to go into the Samsung Health app, then go in settings, scroll down, and you will find blood oxygen during sleep. Once you have turned this feature on, while you are sleeping, your watch will detect your blood oxygen levels and will show you the next day in your sleep activity. So to find this out, go into the sleep settings here, and you will be able to see you know, your sleep stats. But if you scroll down, at the end you will see your blood oxygen level while you were sleeping and it shows you the minimum level of the blood oxygen level that it dropped to moving on you can also set up your samsung galaxy watch 5 pro to detect any activities that you are doing even if you have not started tracking that activity yourself 
and to set this up go in samsung health app go in settings and then scroll down you will see activities to detect now in here first you can turn this feature on and it will be able to auto detect workouts and then you can go in these workouts separately and turn them on or off and if you go in walking and running activity you can then also select record location so the watch will detect and record your location as well did you know that you can also set up your samsung galaxy watch 5 pro to alert you when your heart rate drops down to a certain level or your heart rate goes up a certain level you can set this up by going into the Samsung Health app, go in settings and then go in heart rate. Now if you will scroll down, you will find heart rate alerts. Now you can go in high heart rate and select the number here. It goes all the way up to 150. You can press it and then go in low heart rate and select the number here and it goes all the way down to 40. So whenever your heart rate hits that level, the watch will alert you. Similarly, whenever your heart rate falls below that level, your watch will alert you. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that this feature only works if you have continuous heart rate measurement turned on. If you select 10 minutes or manual measurement, this feature will not work. On Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, you can set up disconnection alerts. So as soon as your watch is disconnected from your phone, the watch will alert you. To set this up, go in settings, then go in connections and here scroll down until you find disconnection alerts. Here go in and you can select to either vibrate or alert and vibrate. After this, whenever your watch will be disconnected from your phone, the watch will alert you. Galaxy Watch 5 Pro comes with some really granular notification controls and you can set them up as you like. And for that, we will go in settings, then go in notifications and here you can play around with these controls the first one is show phone notifications on watch so if you go in here you can select to show alerts when phone is not in use or you can select show alerts even when phone is in use then you can also select to mute notifications on phone and you will only get notifications on the watch in advanced settings you will find that you can also turn on notification indicators so whenever you have a pending notification on the watch a yellow dot will show up on the left edge then you can also set up to read notifications aloud when you have headphones on and connected with the watch via bluetooth you can also select to show notifications with detail or you can turn this feature off or you can select to turn on the screen of the watch whenever you get the notification and finally you can also select to turn on notifications for the new apps that you install on your phone next you can also set up custom notifications for several apps on your phone for your galaxy watch 5 pro and for that go in the galaxy wearable app go in watch settings and here go in notifications here you will see the list of all the apps for example we have got whatsapp here so if i go in here I can turn on notification for the WhatsApp for the second WhatsApp app that is turned on via dual messenger on this phone and then I can select custom watch notification style. This allows me to select alert or silent notifications and then I can customize the notification sound and even notification vibration for the watch. So whenever I will get the notification from WhatsApp, it will notify me with a different vibration as compared to whenever I get a notification from the messages app which you can also customize by the way. Another very important feature to set up as soon as you get your galaxy watch 5 pro is the bedtime mode if you are planning to use this watch to track your sleep so for this you have to go in settings go in advanced features and here find bedtime mode you can turn it on from here or you can also set it up to be scheduled from here you can select days and set the scheduled time but down below you can read what this bedtime mode actually does it will turn off always on display and raise wrist to wake the screen it will also turn on do not disturb mode to mute calls alerts and other sounds and if you want you can also sync this feature with your phone and for that you have to go into the notification settings in the Galaxy Wearable app on your phone, then scroll down and find Sync Do Not Disturb with phone. And from here, you can turn it on. So whenever you will turn on Do Not Disturb on your watch, it will be turned on on your phone as well. Moving on, next feature to set up is remote connection for your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and your smartphone. And to turn this feature on, simply go in the Galaxy Wear app on your phone then go in watch settings and then go in advanced features scroll down and you will find remote connection now go in here to read more about it it will sync data between your phone and watch over wi-fi or your watch's mobile network using google cloud sync 
meaning even if the Bluetooth connection is severed between your watch and your phone, the data will still be synced between your watch and your phone using the Wi-Fi network or your watch's mobile network if you're using an LTE watch. Now you can also set up calling feature here, which means that even if your watch is not connected via Bluetooth with your phone, but is connected via Wi-Fi, you can still make calls from your watch. Now it is also very important to set up some form of security for your Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and that's where the watch lock comes in. Now to turn this feature on you have to go in the settings then go in security and here you will find lock type. Now you can read more about it here. Once unlocked your watch will stay unlocked as long as it detects that you are wearing it. But anyways you can go in lock type and set up either pattern or pin lock. So let's go with pattern here and, and create a pattern for the watch lock. Now when I take the watch off my wrist it will be locked and to do anything on the watch at all I will need to put in this pattern. It works the same way with the pen as well. Moving on the next feature to set up on Galaxy Watch 5 is the SOS feature. So to set this up go in settings scroll all the way down to safety and emergency go in here and then select SOS with home key and here when you will turn on this feature it will take you to your phone. Now on the phone you can continue with the SOS permissions and then it asks you to add emergency contacts. So you can create a new contact or you can select from pre-existing contacts. Once you've done that, it's time to customize the home key to send the SOS message. Now here you can select whether you want to send the SOS message by pressing it three times or four times or you can also set it up to count before sending. So in case you have turned it on by accident, you have time to turn it off. You can also set up some medical information about yourself. So what will happen once you have activated the SOS? It will send your current location to your emergency contact and it will be shared with your contact for up to 24 hours. When it comes to health, you can also set up inactive time alerts so your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro will keep you on your toes. So to turn this feature on, go in Samsung Health, scroll all the way down and go in Settings. And here, scroll down until you find inactive time alerts. Turn it on and from here, you can also select the window of time during which your watch will detect this inactivity. So it will not be disturbing you when it's time for your rest or when you're sleeping or on your weekends. So once you've done that, your watch will alert you after 50 minutes of inactivity. So you can then get up and stretch or take a few steps and stuff like that. On Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, even though we don't get the physical rotating bezel, we still have the touch bezel and it works really nicely. But still, some people may not want to use it. So in that case, you can turn this feature off. And for that, you have to go in settings, go in general, and from here, go in touch bezel and simply turn it off. If you want to turn it on, you can then also turn on vibration feedback. So it will mimic the actual physical clicks of a mechanical rotating bezel. As we all know that winter is coming and if you happen to live in cold countries, it's time to get your gloves out. And that means you might have to use your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro with gloves. And you can set up your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro to work with gloves really well. To do this, go in settings, go in display, and here scroll down until you find touch sensitivity. Turn it on and you will be able to use your watch while wearing gloves. Now this feature doesn't always work perfectly, but you do get some functionality while wearing gloves and you'll be able to use some basic functions of your watch. 